everyone, welcome back to the Bat Prototype with tutorials of vanilla Minecraft recipes. And today we're going to be mainly covering um, the different rails you can create and some redstone circuit objects. So first off, what you would want to do to even begin is mine some redstone, which you're going to need, I believe, just an iron. Um, I'm used used to playing modern Minecraft, so, so I can get them with iron pickaxe. So you would look for these blocks, and it would drop just redstone dust. Um, and then obviously, put it, filling up the crafting table would create a block which can be used, or just the dust for redstone. Um, and the redstone torch, very easy, similar to the regular torch, stick in redstone in that recipe creates it. Um, I'm actually gonna take it uh, and show you some new things, but you need these to create the recipes. So we are covering the powered rail first, so you need gold a redstone dust and a stick in that order to create that railing and this and other railings I'll show you how to create circuits or uh, different ways of using these railings in another video but this is mostly just going to be following the recipes um, this railing specifically in a railroad system is used to either speed up a mine cart without having to push forward or backward or to stop it which these are very useful at the beginning and ending of a track and all you need to get it to speed up is one of the torches and as you see it's red and that will speed it up so the next thing ooh, is the detector rail and you need six iron ingots a stone pressure plate right in the middle and redstone dust and this one uh, works similarly uh, this one is mainly used to set off things um, and you'll need to know more about circuits to work this but it is used for um, potentially setting off TNT, dropping stuff off, um, like using the minecart chest. This is something you would use it for. And this one, the activator rail, is exactly what it sounds like. And you would need six iron ingots, two sticks, and a redstone torch. And this one, yet again, if you use a redstone torch, it'll activate it. Um, this one will uh set off the TNT and the hoppers <laughs> so be careful with that um, but also a combination of these will and the following <laughs> things I'll show you um, can also help set up uh, if you have railings that intersect can change direction it's it's very interesting how you can set these up and I'll show you in another video now this lovely object the uh, redstone, I can never say this pr properly, but com comparator um, is an more further into end game and more in depth circuit creation. Uh, you need another quart, redstone torches, and stone. Um, and this sucker, uh, you can use redstone or redstone dust or redstone block, but this in essence can do exactly the same thing as a redstone repeater um, and this is the recipe and a much cheaper one um, you just need the redstone torches redstone dust and stone um, and it can both of these can repeat well this one specifically can repeat um, pulses of power uh, and if you right click it'll change the speeds of how often that happens um, but again this one I'll go into more um, this one has a sound effect though um, in 
how I'll show you how to do use the circuits and whatnot. Uh, but this one is a little bit more in depth than the repeater. Repeater is much easier to use, pretty simple. Uh, this one has a bunch of input and output aspects to it though. So that is it for this video. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll talk to you later. Bye.